Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I requested a modern mullet. Let's get into it. All right, so as some of you may have seen, the mullet has re-emerged in popularity for quite some time now. And it's not quite the same as the old school mullet you might be thinking of. It's much more subtle than that. Also, if you're happy to see me finally releasing another video and you happen to enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up right down below. It really helps out my channel. Also, big thank you to Rudy here for letting me film another video with him. He's the one who was also in the flat top video I made quite a while back. If you're in the Albuquerque area, definitely stop by Fade Station and ask for Rudy. I can't say enough good things about him. Now then, getting back to the hairstyle, you'll see we're gonna start by trimming down the bulk on the sides. We're really just defining the shape here at first to create a clear path and distinct separation, which will help shape this mullet. Here you can already see the shape coming together and we'll take the fade on the sides, essentially to the back of the ear. As far as the number you can use when discussing this style with your barber, we've got a two on the sides and we'll be tapering it into a zero. If you want, you can take more off the sides and take everything closer to the skin, but I've opted to keep the sides tapered here and add more dimension to the cut. And here's an even closer look at how the sides will generally look for this style. Rudy is going to spend some time refining the sides as well, as you'll see throughout the video. I've said this before, but take note of how much attention your barber places on the details of a cut. If they're taking the time to refine every aspect of the cut, that's someone you do want to revisit in the future. And here you can see the scissors being used very lightly to continue shaping the sides and more general cleanup happening around the ear. Also, another note here, make sure your barber is getting around those strings on the mask. You can see Rudy was great about holding the side of the mask for me so he could keep everything very clean. If your barber is just trying to go around those strings of the mask, offer to hold the strings for them so that brings the area to their attention. Here we're discussing the length up top and we settled on keeping everything around two inches. So overall, Rudy ended up taking about a half inch off the top and he'll be adding in some texture as well after lining everything up. Here he's using the scissors to add in that texture I just mentioned. You'll see the scissors at a slight angle here to create some subtle variation in the length up top. I've mentioned before that my hair is very fine, so I'm almost always looking to add in some texture when I can to help the finished style look a bit thicker. Now returning to the back of the head, Rudy is using a comb to see how far out past the ear the hair flares out, so he can trim both sides up and keep them nice and uniform. Now I have some good growth going on in the back already, and we're going to leave this basically untouched. You can see here how the hair extends well past the ear, and we don't want that. It's fine lower down on the neck, of course, because again, that's very characteristic of this style, but higher up around the ear, we want everything to fall in line properly. Now we're discussing the neckline, and we almost rounded it off because it's a more modern take on the mullet, but we did decide to keep it more natural looking, so we'll clean up those trails of hair that usually form on my neck, but we'll keep the neckline more relaxed and natural so it can keep growing out and add more length in the coming weeks. And this is a good shot that shows how much texture we have up top. You can see it makes everything look a bit thicker, which is exactly what I'm after. From the sides, you can see that the shape is now in place and we have the style established and set. And now it's all about cleaning up small details to bring everything together. Here you can see what I was talking about with the neckline, some subtle flare happening at the bottom instead of a defined edge. And this should continue to grow out quite nicely. You can also see here how everything is tapered at an angle. It's not moving straight up. We're doing this to pull everything back behind the ear in a nice clean way. So keep an eye on that if you're requesting this haircut for yourself. And as we approach the end of the cut, it's time to use the razor to create a very defined end point on the sides. Again, you can see Rudy taking time to hold my mask for me as he uses the razor around the ear. Again, taking time to do these small things tells you how much care your barber is putting into your cut. Okay. 
Same with the back of the neck, we're gonna clean up those trails of hair while still allowing enough hair to grow into the back and add that length we were talking about just a minute ago. Now it's time to style the hair, and you'll see Rudy is using Suavecito to add some good hold and texture. You can style this a few different ways, but a product like this is awesome because it does add a lot of thickness to the hair. Eventually, however, I will probably opt for some other type of clay. Now, before we wrap the video up, I wanna show you two photos that I was referencing when deciding on how to style my haircut. These are good examples of different hair types and slightly different takes on the length of the sides. I chose to trim my sides down a little more because I felt like it added even more dimension to my style, but that's definitely a personal choice you can make. Finally, here's how everything looks about a week and a half out from the haircut, so it's grown out a bit and it looks more natural. This is a good representation of what you can expect the style to look like most of the time prior to your next haircut. And that's all for this video, guys. Like I said, hit that thumbs up right down below if you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really do appreciate it. So thanks again, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.